just two lights left. We're close. We're getting close. Welcome back to the channel. It's another episode of We Rebuilds. We have the fuse to check for, the alternator, the relays. So there's a lot of issues with this car, electrical problems. So we're just gonna try to find all of them. We need to find out why the battery is not charging. So we're just gonna head to the junkyard and go get the alternator. So we're at a lo local junkyard. So let's get the alternator. We just need to take these two bolts out. This one right here, this one right here. And then unplug the alternator and the ground bolt, bolt around here. And that should be it. And then the alternator is out. Alternator is out, so let's head back home. So now we're back home to finish working on the 2012 Volkswagen Passat. So now we have the alternator in. So you see right here, I had to pull down the compressor way more easier or so I could get a better and more space to have the alternator in. So that's all done. So now I'm gonna screw these two bolts in and then the grounding wire is already back on on the alternator. And then once that's done, then we put the compressor back on and then put every the reinforcement bar back on and everything else and get the car started. So now the belt is back on. We gotta make sure the alternator is charging the battery right now. So hopefully that's the problem and the problem is fixed. So the next thing is to check if the alternator doesn't work is the fuse. And this is the fuse right here. If the alternator is not the problem, then this might be the problem. And we even got a new battery. So this battery, battery is from the dealership. So let's see what happens. So now we change the alternator. We changed the battery, it's still the same result. Now we're just gonna change the fuse and see if that works. Now I did it off camera by switching the fuse, but this is the bad one. So this, this is the good one. All you have to do is just screw one, two, three, and four out, and then pull it out, and then just put the new one in, and then that's it. See, now look at the dash. So no more battery light. So now the battery light is off. So we know that light bulb right there is for the two headlights that we don't have in right now, installed right now. And then we know the airbag light. And then now we're, we don't have no horn. So we're gonna try to figure this out. So we already checked the fuse. So now we're about to check the relay before we think it's the clock spring. So. Let's check the relay, and if the relay works, then we know that the clock spring is bad. So now, to find the relay. So we're gonna have to take out all of this. And and all of this, and see if we could get to all these relays. So let's get to it. So now it's all off so now we could get to the screws so we have one right here and we have one down here and we have one up here and then we have one on this side and one on the corner here and I think they're maybe one or two screws under here and then that's how we could pull it out and get to all these relays so so to pull all these screws out we need a t20 screw let's pull them out So now 
we finally got it out. There was just one hidden screw right here. So you have to press this button down. So it it let it lets it come loose so you can put it forward. So now let's search for the relay. So now we finally got everything opened up. So if you could see, so as you could see, we pulled down everything. So we finally have space to get in there. So the relays or so as you can see, those are the relays back there. So 6464. So that should be the horn relay. So we're going to take that out and put the new one in and see what happens. These are all the relays that came out of, came from under the steering wheel. So a quick way how to know how to test these relays is like, just wait till you hear like a click. So all you do is just connect one side right here, put this side over here and that's the click. So you know the relay is good. Another way how to know that the relay is good too, you could check the ums. So you have, so you hear the click and then once you hear that click, you just turn this on and go over to the ohm side. So you want to get as close to zero as possible. So you're going to put one at this port. So as you can see, one at one port. So you hear the click. So see, you want to get as close to zero as possible and which in this is zero. So the rel relay is good. So we're just going to go ahead and test the rest. Now all the tests are done, all these relays are good. So now we know it's not the fuse, it's not the relay, so it has to be the clock spring. Well now it's time to put back all these back. Let's go. So now everything is back in, all the screws are back in, see, it's like we have never pulled it down. We changed the battery, we changed the alternator, so it comes to find out it was just the fuse, but now we need to find out why the harness is not working, so we're going to check the relays, we already checked the relays, we checked the fuses, so now next episode we're going to change the clock spring and see if that fixes our problem. If you like the videos, just keep put a thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. Like, share, subscribe. It helps the channel to grow. And see you next time. Stay positive, stay motivated.